In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Forgiveness of our sins, 
that we may praise you who with your good Father and the Holy Spirit for you have risen and saved us. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. Christ, we ask and teach your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the souls of your servants who fall in asleep. Our Father, and our brethren. Pray for our Father, and for his gospel, and ask your miracles and the faith of Christ from the beginning. Our Holy Father, our bishops, and our fathers, the bishops, and our fathers, the agreements, and our fathers, the priests, our prisons, the deacon, our fathers, the Christ our God, and your soul told my soul to the Father, and I to the joy. I hope you shall close your mercy unto us and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Be gracious, the old Lord, repose all their souls in the bosom of our holy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Sustain them in green pasture beside still waters in the paradise of joy. The place out of which grief, sorrow, and groaning have fled away in the light of your seeds. Raise up their bodies also in the day which you have appointed, according to your true promises which are without lie. Grant them that has not seen come upon the heart of men the things which you, O God, have prepared for those who love your holy aid. For their but a departure. Even if any negligence or heedlessness has overtaken them as men since they were clothed in flesh and dwelt in this world, O God, as the good one and the lover of mankind, graciously accord, O Lord, to repose and forgive them, your servants, the Orthodox Christians who are in the whole world, from the east to the west, from the north to the south. Each one according to his name, and each one according to her name. For no one is pure and without blemish, even though his life on earth be a single day. As for us, O Lord, grant us our Christian perfection that will be pleasing to you, and give them and us a share and inheritance with all your sins. Lord, have mercy. Graciously accord, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and exceedingly blessed and glorified be your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according to our hoping, for the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the regions of the earth. And you, O Lord, keep us safe in this generation and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, enlighten me with your righteousness. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not, O Lord, the works of your hands. You have been my refuge, my refuge from generation to generation. I asked the Lord and said, Have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have fled into you. Save me and teach me to do your will, for you are my God, and with you is the fountain of life. In your light shall we see light. Let your mercy come unto those who know you, and your righteousness unto the upright in heart. To you belongs blessing, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory, O Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, existing from the beginning, now and forever and ever. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises unto your name, O Most High, to show forth your mercy every morning and your righteousness every night. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended to the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. now and ever, and unto the age of all ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sick of your people. Heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls. O you are without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. O you are without sin, Lord, help us and receive our supplications. For yours is the glory, the dominion, and the triple holiness. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord bless us, amen. Hail to you, we ask you, a saint full of glory, the ever-virgin, the mother of God, the mother of Christ. Lift up our prayer and to beloved sons of Timur, forgive us our sins. Hail to the Holy Virgin, who has brought forth unto us the true light, Christ our God. I ask the Lord in our behalf that you may have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the Holy Theotokos, the faithful advocate for all mankind. To receive now our behalf before Christ, you may have born that you may forgive us our sins. Hail to you. the right uh, and true queen hail to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel we ask you to remember us O oh, our faithful advocate before our Lord Jesus Christ, and team you forgive us our sins. The adornments of Mary in the highest heaven, at the right hand of her beloved, entreating him on our behalf. As David had said in the book of Psalm, the Queen is to at your hand, O King. Solomon has called her in the Song of Songs, my sister and my spouse, my true city, Jerusalem. For he has given us some beloved in many I name, saying, Count of your garden, O oh, choice they are among. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen, Hail to the bride of our race, who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O oh, our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Seven archangels praising as they stand before the Pantocrator, serving the hidden mystery. Michael is the first, Gabriel is the second, Raphael is the third, the symbol of the Trinity. Suriel, Sadakiel, Sarathiel, and Ananiel, the great and holy luminaries, entreating him for the creation. The cherubim, the seraphim, the throne, the dominion, and power. Power, the four incorporeal creatures carrying the throne of God. The twenty-four presbyters in the church of the firstborn, praising him without ceasing, proclaiming and saying, Holy God, heal the sick, holy mighty, repose the sleep in the Lord. Holy mortal, bless your inheritance. May your mercy and peace be a fortress to your people. Holy, 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 Heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. And when they say Alleluia, the heavenly response saying, Holy Amin Alleluia, glory be to our God. Intercede in our behalf, O angelic armies and heavenly order, that he may forgive us our sins. O Joseph, the archpriest of the great city of Alexandria, the pure virgin adorned with true humility. For in the days of your high priesthood, this great grace come to us, we, we, we the undeserving. That is the coming of our fathers, the cross bearers, Abba Bisho and Abba Paul, the shining stars. This you became unto us, two harbors of, of salvation. salvation. They, they have enlightened our, our souls through their, their holy bodies. bodies. Hail to our father Abba Bishoy, 
the just and perfect man, hail to our Father of our Paul, the beloved of Christ. Great is the Lord on our behalf, of my Lord and Father, who love their children of Abishur and of Paul, that he forgive us our sin. Watch over us from on high where you dwell, O Lady of us all, the ever virgin Theotokos. I ask of him you have born our good Savior to take away our troubles and grant us his peace. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. We exalt you, the mother of the true light. We glorify you, O saint, the mother of God, for you brought forth unto us the Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to you, our master, our king, Christ, the pride of the apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the firmness of the churches, and the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity in one Godhead. We worship him. We glorify him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pontificator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the scriptures. Ascended to the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O oh, God, have mercy upon us. Set of mercy upon us. Have compassion upon us. Oh, Amen. Hear us. Amen. Bless us, keep us, and help us. Visit us with your salvation and forgive us our sins. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to sin the honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear, that we may be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospels, through the prayers of your saints. Lord have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers, which we offer 
up unto you, O Lord, thou art God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. And to is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts, O Lord, bless the reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Bow to the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand with, uh, with the fear of God and let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke is blessing. Be with us all. From the psalm of our teacher David the prophet and the king may his blessing be with us all. Amen. I cried with my whole heart, have mercy upon me and attend unto me. I cry to you, save me, and I will keep your testimony. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God and Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever and ever. Amen. Also he spoke to his par this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteousness and despised other. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one of one at Pharisees and the other is a tax collector. The first he said and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extraneous, unjust adulterers, or even at this tax collector. I fasted twice a week, I give teeth of all I, that I possess, and the taxes and the tax collector stand afar off, would not so much as raises his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a, me a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather the, than the other, for everyone who is exalted himself will be abased, and who, who humbled himself will be exalted. Then they were also brought infants to him, that he might touch, touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them to him and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them. For if such is the kingdom of God, as surely I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, will be no means it enter it. Glory be to God for Blessed be the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
the perfect trinity we worship him and glorify him hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespass we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not in temptation deliver us from evil Christ Jesus, our Lord, thine is the kingdom, power, glory forever. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, before you, O Lord, peace be with all and with your spirit. O Master Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Logos of God the Father, who has broken every bond of our sins through saving and life giving suffering, who breathed into the face of disciples and holy apostles and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Also, our Master, have given grace to you, holy apostles, so those of our time labor in the priesthood, in your holy church, to forgive sins upon the earth and to loosen to bind iniquity. Now I ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, for my fathers, my brethren, and my weakness. Those who bow their heads before your holy glory dispense to us your mercy. Loose every bond of our sins. If we have committed any sin against you knowingly or unknowingly, whether in deed or word or from faint-heartedness, Master, who knows the weakness of men as the good one lover of mankind, God grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, Amen. purify us, and absolve us and all your people and fill us with your fear and strain us for your holy good will. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Amen. And to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. We proclaim and say, O our Lord Jesus Christ, bless the water of the rivers. May your mercy and peace be a fortress unto your people. Save us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. Bless me. Bless me. Lord, repentance. Forgive me and say the blessing. Christ our God. Amen. So be it. O King of peace, grant us your peace and establish for us your peace and forgive us our sins for yours is the glory the power the blessings and the might forever amen and make us worthy to pray thank you our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not in temptation deliver us from the evil one in christ jesus our lord thine is the kingdom of God. May the love of God the Father, the grace of His only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the communion and gift of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Good evening. It's good to be back. We were away for a while, and now we're back. So where we stopped, we were studying the, the epistle of St. Paul to the Colossians, to the church in Colossae. And uh, we stopped at chapter 3, and, uh, and it's only four chapters, so we'll take the last chapter today, and then we will move on to the Philippians next week, God willing, uh, the epistle to the, to the Philippians. So... Chapter 3, we, when it ended, when last time when we met, you will find that St. Paul was talking a lot about the spirituality in the homes, in your home. Uh, and he started talking to the wives, and then he talked to the husbands, and then he talked to the children. Like for instance, in uh, Colossians 3 verse 20, it says, Children, obey your parents in all things, that this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Uh, and then he talked to the parents, the fathers. And uh, fathers, don't provoke your children to, lest they become discouraged. Don't push your children in a, in a way that, 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 that discourages them. And then he talked to the bond servants at that time, the, those who were slaves. Uh, and it doesn't mean that Christianity promotes slavery, but the, 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 the thing is, slavery was the norm at that time, and that was the accepted. But here he's, telling, he's talking to those slaves that are Christian, how they are to obey their masters, and so on. And this is where it stopped. It talked, it said the last, the end of chapter 3, Colossians 3, he was talking to the bond servants. Now, in the beginning of chapter 4, he's talking 
He's going to talk to the masters of the slaves. So he talked to the, the, the bond servants, and now he's going to talk to the masters of them as well. Uh, and, and he's uh, uh, you know, telling them how they should behave with their bond servants. And this is where we'll start. We'll start with chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Masters, give your bond servant what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. In other words, what St. Paul is telling those masters of slaves of that time, uh, that you need to remember that they are fellow human and they are equal to you. And not only that, but yes, they are your slaves. By the way, at that time, the slaves were looked at as, as, a, as, a, as a tool. They don't, they're not looked at as human in the sense that uh, an owner of a slave can actually kill the slave and does, does not even uh, get penalized for it. So it was, uh, the, it was pretty, uh, they, they didn't look at him as humans. And here he's telling them, St. Paul, Masters, give your bot servant what is fair. You know, treat him just and treat him fair. And, 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 and not only that, but treat them equal because if a servant is a Christian and the master is a Christian, your brothers, you're equal in, when it comes to inheritance. So he's saying, be fair to them, knowing that you as the master also have a master in heaven. That, that God is your master and he has also, he always have mercy on you. You need to also have mercy on those who are under you as slaves. So I want to emphasize that that doesn't mean Christianity promotes it. But here it's admonishing those who are masters to treat them. And he's talking also to those servants who became Christian, how to obey their masters according to the flesh. And, and, and that was what we spoke about last week. And then he move on in chapter 4 in verse 2, he starts talking about prayer. And this is, by the way, this is talking about the, the, the spirituality in the family and so on. And he's admonishing the church of Colossae on how to live. And here he's going to start talking to them about how, you know, one of the things is prayer. In verse 2, he tells them, continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. In other words, the first word, there's a lot of it, like that sentence tells us a lot about how we are to pray. First word, it's continue. In other words, you're regularly praying. Uh, one of the things that I encourage people get into the habit, as soon as you walk into a threshold of a door, pray, Lord, help me in whatever I'm doing. If you're entering into a, a room with, for a meeting, when you walk into that threshold, Lord, help me in this. You're entering into a threshold of a classroom setting, Lord, help me in this class. Uh, you're entering into the threshold of your home, Lord, be with me, bless my family. Get into the habit, just like a, a lot of people when they enter the car, they sign themselves with the cross, or sometimes when they enter the freeway, they do that. Get into the habit that every time you enter a threshold of a door, Lord, help me. So in other words, you're regularly praying, continue praying. Uh, continue so and then the next word is earnestly uh, uh, and, and being it consistent being consistent in your prayer continually continue earnestly uh, uh, in prayer always regularly pray in everything you do look for opportunities to pray you see someone that is solemn while walking across from you pray for them you see someone that is that is a uh, homeless pray for them you see someone stranding on the, stranded in the, on the freeway pray for them continue look for opportunities to pray and here he this is what he's telling them and he's going to cover six elements continually earnestly with consistency and, and not only that, but being vigilant in it. In other words, uh, being attentive when you pray. A lot of times, sometimes when we pray the Agbeya, you're praying the Agbeya and you don't know, did I pray this part or not because you're daydreaming or something. So here he's saying, be vigilant in it. Uh, with thanksgiving. In other words, our uh, prayer always has to come with thanksgiving. Even though that you know the, the prayer was not answered yet, but that's not. But I always need to thank God. So continue, continue earnestly in prayer, being attentive or vigilant in it with thanksgiving, always thanking God. And then in verse three he says, "Meanwhile, praying also for us." So here, one of the things that talks to us about prayer is that we need to pray for each other. And here, Saint Paul is telling them, you know. Church of Colossi, please pray for us. 
pray for St. Paul and uh, pray for all those who serve with me. Uh, and interesting, look what he's going to ask for. You know, a lot of times when somebody goes to someone and, and says, pray for me, usually it's a sickness or usually they're going for an, a job interview or a test or something like that. And this is how, you know, usually you are. But look what he, what St. Paul is going to ask the church of Colossae to pray for him for. It says, meanwhile, play, praying also for us that God would open to us a door for the word to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in chains that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. So here he's asking their prayer. What is he asking their prayer for? Is that, that God would open a door that St. Paul is able to preach the word and the mystery of Christ. So here he's telling them, please pray for me. He's, he's, he's a honest servant in everything he does. He wants to preach the word of God in every, even in jail where he was when he's writing this. Uh, and he's saying, open, instead of telling, instead of, you know, okay, if, you're, if somebody is in jail, what is the first request if you see somebody? Pray for me that I get out. <laughs> right? I mean, that's what, the, what we would ask, right? But here is a man is in jail. And what was the what, what is he asking for? Is that pray for us that even though here I am in prison to and, and, and chained to this to this soldier or, or in house arrest or whatever I am in, but pray for me that God open the door for the word so I can speak the mystery of Christ. And, and by the way, when we say mystery of Christ, this is the, the message that we have. The mystery of Christ that, that God took flesh, was incarnate, and became man, and was, was tempted like us, but without sin, and died on the cross for our sins, and rose from the dead, and ascended into the heaven, and saved us from our sins. This is the mystery of Christ. So here he's saying, pray that... God opens doors so I can keep saying this message, this mystery of Christ to everyone, for which I am also in chains. And, and he's telling them, this is the reason I am in this chain. This is why I'm in prison. But it, that's not stopping me. It's not, even though he's in prison for that, it's not stopping me. It says that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. So every time I speak, I am sharing the mystery of Christ. This is what he's, he's asking them for prayer. And this is something that's important that we, do we ever think about that even? That God opens the door, that God uses me to, to share the mystery of Christ. I want you to think about it when we, are, when we always ask each other for prayer, we always ask for these other things. But here, it's a good lesson from St. Paul. And then he goes on in verse 5, and he talks to them about how to deal with those who are outside the faith. And then he says in, in verse 5, it says, Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside. In other words, when, when, when you come across these people that are not believers, uh, have wisdom. Have wisdom when you, when you deal with them. Redeeming the time. Another, when you're with somebody that, that doesn't know Christ or for outside the faith, don't waste your time. He says, redeem the time. Let your speech always be with grace. In other words, when you talk to these people, have grace. And, and in other words, what is grace? Grace is what God has on us when we don't deserve. So here he's saying, when you're speaking, uh, of course we are supposed to deal with each other with grace as well. But let alone those from outside, how do they know that you are different? How do they know that you're Christian? It's by the way you speak and how graceful you are and how forgiving you are. So are you saying when you deal with those from outside, have wisdom, redeem the time, don't just waste the time and talk about futile things and let your speech be with grace, seasoned with salt. In other words, your words should be preserving to those. What does salt do? Salt adds flavor to the food and also preserves the food. They used to use that before the refrigeration. So your words should be graceful and, and, and with salt, another with flavor. In other words, the opposite of graceful, by the way, so kind of give you a feel of the word, is, is maybe with judgmental is that you talk to somebody always judging, judging, judging. That's far from grace. 
And this is the difference between somebody that is always judging. So here grace is not judgmental, but, 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 but forgiving, uh, encouraging. And, 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 and always your words are to preserve uh, and to add flavor that you may know how you ought to answer each one. So here he's saying, be ready always how to answer everyone. Uh, how to talk to the people that are around you and how that you are to also give and share the mystery of Christ that he's asking them to for them to for, for God to open doors so he can share it and then in the end he's closing out the the chapter the the, the epistle to the Colossi and he's he's going to tell him about the the two people that are carrying this letter to Colossi. So there were two letter carriers that took this letter to the church of Colossi, and these are one of his, uh, these his disciples. These are Saint Paul's disciples. And the first one is Tychicus. And you read about Tychicus uh, in the book of Acts, chapter twenty, verse four, and also in Ephesians six twenty-two. And and basically, Saint Paul has a lot of good things to say about Tychicus when you read in, the, in, in these chapters that I mentioned. So here he's saying, Tychicus, a beloved brother, faithful minister, and fellow servant in the Lord. So here, this is basically, he's telling them that this carrier of this letter, Tychicus, he's a brother, even though really he, he is, that's his, you know, uh, St. Paul is above him, he's his teacher, and, but he's here saying, Tychicus is my brother in the faith. He's a faithful minister and he's a fellow servant. He serves the Lord with me. And he's, and, and he's going to tell you, will tell you all the news about me. So the, the, the goal for, for what Tychicus, and then there's another person that, we gonna, that, that was carrying the letter who's Onesimus. Tychicus and Onesimus, they had this mission to deliver this letter to the church of Colossae and not only that, but to let them know how is St. Paul doing in Rome, because they're probably worried about St. Paul. So St. Paul is sending them uh, Tychicus and Onesimus with this epistle, and also to comfort them about St. Paul, and at the same time to find out how the Church of Colossae is, and to, respond, to, to take back this news to St. Paul. So in, in verse 7 he says, Tychicus, a beloved brother, faithful minister, and fellow servant in the Lord, will tell you all the news about me. So he's gonna, they're, gonna, he's gonna, they're gonna update you about me. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts. And then in verse 9, he mentions the other letter carrier that was with him, with Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you. So do you remember Onesimus? When we were studying Philemon, uh, Philemon and Onesimus ran away. And then when Onesimus ran away, he came across St. Paul. St. Paul preached to him the risen Christ, changed this bond servant Onesimus, and then he uh, when he changed and became Christian, he sent a letter, St. Paul sent a letter to Philemon, who is, who is Onesimus' master. He told him, you know what, I came across one of your bond servants. Yes, he ran away. Yes, he, you have every right to kill him. You have every right to do this. But now he's a bond servant, and I ask you that you forgive him. And anything that he has, that he's taken from you, or whatever, assume that it's, I'm going to give it back to you. This is the Onesimus that we're talking. So now that bond servant who ran away from Philemon, now he is a, serve, a fellow servant with St. Paul and doing the Lord's work. And so here he's saying, Tychicus and Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you, because probably Onesimus knew them from the church of Colossae, they will make known to you all things which are happening here. They're going to update you of what's my status in Rome. And then he is going to go on and he's going to talk about several other people. Uh, and, 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 and verse 10, he starts out with, Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you with Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, about whom you received instruction. If he comes to you, welcome him. And here he's telling them that Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, by the way, one of the things that... Uh, some of the you know the, the fathers would say that saint paul at this point he was in house arrest in rome so he needed somebody to take care of them to take care of him 
So Aristarchus is one of his servants that he is by, by his own will choosing to live with St. Paul to take care of him. That's why he says, Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner. So he's, he's, he's with him in that house arrest uh, to take care of Paul. Greets you with Mark, the cousin or nephew. In, in some places it says the cousin, but it's really nephew. With Mark, the nephew of Barnabas. By the way, at the beginning, and, and, uh, when, when you look, when you read in the book of Acts, uh, you'll find that Mark, St. Mark, uh, and St. Paul had some tension together. And uh, they kind of parted their ways, and, 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 and then they went to different missionary trips. But here you find that they reconciled again, and it's a good message for us that we always need to reconcile whenever there is this differences between us. And here, St. Uh, Paul is writing about St. Mark, that he is, he's, you know, welcome, welcome, and died on the cross. Uh, a lot of them didn't feel worthy to be called Jesus. So they started getting on different names. And here is one of them. It says Jesus, now he's called Justice. His original name was Jesus, but now he's changed his name to, ju to Justice. He's another fellow servant that, that is with him, with St. Paul. And then he goes on and he says, these, the three that he just mentions, Aristarchus and Mark and, and Justice, these are my only fellow workers for the kingdom of God who are of the circumcision. What does that mean? He's saying these are the only three servants that, that, that are serving with me right now, serving the kingdom of God. Uh, fellow workers of the, uh, who, who are of the circumcision. In other words, their roots are Jews. Uh, when, when I talk about circumcision, is that basically these are the three, that only three that are, are from Jewish descent, in other words. They are my only fellow three fellow workers of the, the kingdom of God who are of the circumcision. They, they, they're basically Jewish, uh, non-Gentile in other words. And then it goes on, he says, they have proved to be a comfort to me. So here he's, he's, he's praising these three and he's saying they proved that they are comfort to me. And there is a question that I would like to ask. And here, these are the disciples of St. Mark, and, 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 and he's their, their fa, you know, they're, they're the one that leads them, and so on. And here he's saying, they are a comfort to me. Question that I, that I want to pose for everyone, are you a comfort to those who are above you? Or, or like, are you a comfort to your parents? Do you bring comfort to your parents, or you bring... In here, St serve the kingdom in comfort to me. I want you to think about that. Uh, like a husband and wife, do you bring comfort to each other? Uh, children, do you bring comfort to your parents? Uh, spiritual children, do you bring comfort to your spiritual fathers? Uh, do you bring comfort or do you always bring, you know, oh, I worry about this person. I worry, what, what is he doing? Is he, he or she getting in trouble again or not? So, just a, an aside thought. Here St. Paul is vouching for them. These three, they proved to be a comfort to me. May God help each one of us here today to always be comforts to our parents, comfort to our spouses. Comfort, when, I walk, when you walk in that room, they bring comfort in the room. That, that's, that, that would be great when, oh yes, we want him among us because whenever that... There is peace. I pray that we as Christians should always be that. We are to be comfort for everyone around us. And then he goes on in verse... Uh, who was pr probably the, the bishop of Colossae. Epiphras, who is one of you, a bond servant of Christ, greets you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers that you may stand perfect and complete in all of the will of God. So Epaphras here, uh, you know, that, that, we, that we, 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 we believe that he was the bishop of that church in Colossae. So he's always praying for them. He's a bond servant of Christ, serving Christ freely. He greets you and he always labors fervently for you in prayers. We as parents, do we fervently pray for our children? Uh, do we fervently pray for each other? And here he's saying labor. In other words, prayer is work. 
Prayer is work. I mean, you try to sit in a, in a, in a chair and pray for 15 and 20 minutes and try not to, 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 for your mind to go away. It's hard. And here you see, you hear about Epiphras. He's laboring fervently for you in prayer. That, and what is he praying for? That you may stand perfect. And, and, and then not, your faith is not wavered. That you stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. That always, that said, that Epaphras is praying for the, the people, that they always stand whenever, that they, they never fall short when it comes to the will of God. That they're always standing perfect and complete when it comes to the will, will of God. And then verse 13, he says, For I bear him witness that he has a great zeal for you. In other words, he loves you very much and he's always praying for you and he cares for you. And those who are in Laodicea and those who in Heriopolis, uh, so in other words, he's, he's praying for those in Laodicea and these are places in Colossae. Uh, Laodicea and Heriopolis is a small place. So he's praying for everyone in that area of Colossae. And then he goes on in verse 14, it says, Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greets you. In other words, these are two other disciples that he, they're sending the greetings. And most likely, uh, Luke was probably, because he's a doctor, he was also uh, taking care of St. Paul in that sense as well. So here he's saying, Luke, the beloved doctor, physician, and Demas greet you. Uh, th there were some things that happened with Demas later and he loved the world and he left. But so he didn't say, you know, beloved or he didn't add anything. He didn't say anything good or bad. But he said, Luke, the beloved physician and Demas greet you. Uh, and then in verse 15, he goes on, it says, Greet the brethren who are in Laodicea and Nymphus and the church that is in his house. Nymphas was probably a person that was allowing the Christians to gather in Colossae. And, and he's basically telling them, send my regards to everybody, to the brethren in Laodicea and Nymphas and the church that is in his house. Uh, because probably that's where they, were, they used to gather and, 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 and he's sending greetings for, the, for, the, for him and for the church. And then verse 16, he's closing the chapter by saying, Now when this epistle is read among you, see that it is also read in the church of the Laodiceans, and that you likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. Laodicea probably is the, 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 the Colossians and Ephesians, they match very close to each other. And, and he's saying that I want you to read this epistle to the Colossi, to the church in Laodicea, and also the message that I'm sending to Laodicea, I want you to also read it in Colossian, in Colossi. So here he's telling them, please you know, share this message with the sister churches in Laodicea, or like we said, in Ephesus. And then verse 17, it says, And say to our, 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 our chippus, uh, and say to our chippus, Take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. So here he's sending a message to one of also the disciples, our shippus. Be careful of that ministry that you were entrusted with and make sure that you fulfill God's will in it. And then he closed the chapter by saying, this salutation by my own hand. In other words, he wrote by my own hand. Paul, remember my chains. Grace be with you. Amen. And here he's signing it and he's telling them here, this, this salutation is by my own hands. Paul, and remember my chains. He's in, he's, he, was, he was in chain that time, uh, you know, when he wrote this. And he's sending them at the end, grace be with you. Even though he's in chains, he's sending them grace and he's sending them comfort. Uh, amen. Uh, I pray that we have that spirit, you know, no matter what happens us to us in the world, that we're comforting others and, uh, and, and, and we always have, we're always that source of encouragement to other people, no matter what's the circumstances. Here is a man in jail and he's sending messages to comfort people outside of jail that are, are free. And this is really true freedom when you are free in Christ, that this world uh, doesn't, it doesn't fade you, doesn't, doesn't uh, you know, shake you. Because when you really focus on eternity, this world becomes futile. So, any questions? Any questions? Any questions? 
and glory be to God forever. Amen. Let us pray. Make us worthy, O Lord, to pray. Thank for our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespass. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, thine is the kingdom, power, glory forever. Amen. Now the love of God the Father, the grace of His only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the communion and gift of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Go in peace. The peace of the Lord be with you. And we're, we're next week we'll go Philippians. We'll Cast away from our mind that slumber asleep. Grant us sobriety, O Lord, that we may know how to stand before you at times of prayer. And strive unto you that fitting glorification and the forgiveness of our many sins. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Behold, bless the Lord, O you servants of the Lord. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. You stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God, glory be to you, O lover of mankind. By night lift up your hands, O you saints, and bless the Lord, glory be to you, O lover of mankind. The Lord bless you from thy own, who made heaven and earth, glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Let my cry come near before you, O Lord, give me understanding according to your word, glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Let my supplication come before you, lure me according to your word. Words, glory be to you, O lover of mankind. My lips shall utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. My tongue shall speak of your words, for your commandments are righteousness. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Let your hand become my help, for I have chosen your precepts. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Let my eye long for your salvation, O Lord, and you lose my delight. Glory be to you, O lover. Of mankind. Let my soul live and it shall praise you, and let your judgments help me. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, you do not forget your commandments. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. Mankind. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, from now and unto the age of all ages. Amen. Glory be to you, a lover of mankind. Glory be to you, good one, the lover of mankind. Glory be to your mother, the virgin, and all your sins. Glory be to you, a lover of mankind. Glory be to you, only begotten one, O Holy Trinity, have mercy upon us. Glory be to you, a lover of mankind. Let God arise, and let all his enemies be scattered and let all that hate his holy name flee from before his face. Glory be to you, O lover of mankind. As for your people, let them be blessed a thousand thousand fold and ten thousand ten thousand fold doing your will. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall sell forth your praise. Amen, alleluia, kiria, naison. Kiria, naison, kiria, then Moses and the children of Israel sing the song to the Lord, spoke, saying, Let us sing to the Lord for his triumph gloriously. For sin is tried, or he hath thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will glorify him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is the man of war, the Lord is his name, fear his church, and his army has cast into the sea. His chosen captains also drowned in the Red Sea. The depth of cover them, they sank to the balm like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord. Become glorious in power, your right hand, O Lord. 
Says, and in your greatness, and in the greatness of your excellence, you have overthrown. You have overthrown the sorrows against you. You suffer through wrath. It could seem them like stubble. And with the blast of your nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright like a heap, and the depths congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, "I will pursue. I will overtake. I'll divide the spoil. My desire shall be satisfied on them. I will draw my sword, and my hand shall destroy them." You blew with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead. In the mighty waters. Who is like you, Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorifying and sin, amazing glory, performing wonders? You stretch out your right hand, you swallowed them. You, in your mercy, have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength to your holy habitation. That people will hear and be afraid, sorrow will take hold in the inhabitants of Palestine. Then the chiefs of Edom will be dismayed, the mighty men of Moab trembling will take hold of them. All the inhabitants of Canaan will melt away, fear and dread will fall on them. By the greatness of your arm they will be as still as a stone, till your people pass over, O Lord, till your people pass over whom you have purchased. You will bring them and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance in the place, O Lord, that you have made for your own dwelling. Your sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. For the horses of Pharaoh and his chariots and his horsemen into the sea. And the Lord brought back the waters of the sea on them, but the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. And Miriam the prophet, the sister of Aaron, took the tremble and ran. All the women went after her with trembles and with praises. And Miriam answered them, saying, Let us sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he had thrown into the sea. Let us sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. With the split, the waters of the sea split, and the very deep became a walkway. And in earth where shone upon the sun, and the trodden rod was walked upon. The flowing water stood still by a miraculous act of wonder. They rose and each as were drowned, and the children of Israel cried the sea. And in front of them was Moses the prophet praising until he brought them to the wilderness of Sinai. And they were praising God with this new psalm, saying, Let us sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Through the of the Mother of God, St. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We
Amin alleluia, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good, alleluia, His mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of gods, alleluia, His mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, alleluia, His mercy endures forever. To Him who alone does great wonders, alleluia, His mercy endures forever. To Him who always the mid the heavens, alleluia, His mercy endures forever. To Him who laid out the earth above the waters, alleluia, His mercy endures forever. To him who made great light, alleluia, his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, alleluia, his mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, alleluia, his mercy endures forever. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, alleluia, his mercy endures forever. And Brought out Israel from among them, Alleluia, His mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, Alleluia, His mercy endures forever. To Him who divided the Red Sea into parts, Alleluia, His mercy endures forever. And made Israel pass to the midst of it, Alleluia. Has mercy endures forever. But overthrew Furies and his army in the Red Sea. Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness. Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. To him who treated war from a rock. Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings, Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. Sihon, the king of the Amorites, Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. And gave their land as a heritage, Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. A heritage to Israel is serving, Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. The Lord who remembered us in a lowly state, Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. And rescued us from our enemies, Alleluia, his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to our flesh, Alleluia. Alleluia, His mercy endures forever. Who oh, give thanks to the God of heaven. Alleluia, His mercy endures forever. Who oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for He is good. Alleluia, His mercy endures forever. Amin alleluia, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and exceedingly to be blessed and exalted above all forever. Blessed is the holy name of your glory, and exceedingly to be blessed and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the holy temple of your glory, and exceedingly to be blessed and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you, O be all that deposits upon the cherubim, and exceedingly to be blessed and exalted. Exalted above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, and exceedingly to be blessed and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, and exceedingly to be blessed and exalted above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord, praise him and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O oh heaven, praise him and exalt him above all forever. 
Bless the Lord, all you angels of the Lord. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you waters above the heaven. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you powers of the Lord. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all the sun and moon. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you stars of heaven. And praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, the rain and dew. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you clouds and winds. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you spirits. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all fire and heat. Praise Him and exalt Him above all of all forever. Bless the Lord, O cold and heat. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you do and winds. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O nights and days. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O light and darkness. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O frost and cool, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O snow and ice, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O lightnings and clouds, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all the earth, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O mountains and all hells, praise Him and and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you things that spring up on the earth. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O you fountains. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you seas and rivers. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O you all the all the moved in the waters. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Forever. Bless the Lord, all you birds of the sky. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you wild peace and cow. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you sons of men. Worship the Lord. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O Israel. Praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you priests. Of the Lord, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O ye servants of the Lord, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O ye spirits and souls of the just, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O ye holy and humble of heart, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, praise Him and exalt Him above all forever. Bless the Lord, O worship the Lord, the God of our fathers, praise Him and exalt Him. Him above all forever. Oh, sing unto him who was crucified, buried, and resurrected for us, and trampled and abolished hath. Praise him and exalt him above all. Take off the old man and put on the new and superior one. Come closer to the greatness. Of mercy, Jose, Ali, Ochas, all you Christian people, the priests and the deacons, glorify the Lord for in the worthy praise him and exalt him above all. Come to us, O three children, whom Christ our God has lifted, and from the devil has delivered. Praise Him and exalt Him above all. For the sake of your God, the Messiah, the giver of all good things, come unto us, O Hananiah, 
Praise Him and exalt Him above all. O Azariah, the Zealot, evening and morning and at noon, glorify the power of the Trinity. Praise Him and exalt Him above all. Behold, Emmanuel is now the Ramesh, O Mishael. Proclaim with the voice of Zoe, praise Him and exalt Him above all. Gather now and persevere and proclaim with the priest. Let the Lord all his word praise him and exalt him above all. The heavens declare the glory of God until this day. All you angels whom he has made praise him and exalt him above all. Now all you powers of the Lord bless his honored name. O sun and moon and all the stars praise him and exalt him above all. And all serene and you sing praises unto our Savior, for he is God of our fathers. Praise him and exalt him above all. Glorify the Lord, O clouds and wind, together with the soul and the spirit. O you cold and fire, and he praise him and exalt him above all. You also, nights and days, light and darkness and lightning, Glorify the lover of mankind, praise him and exalt him above all. You trees and all that springs on the earth, and all that moves in the waters, mountains and the forest, praise him and exalt him above all. Breathe without ceasing, the Lord, the King of the kings. O you rivers and seas, praise him and exalt him above all. And we all and we also seeing them let us say with all the things Bless, Bless the Lord all your birds praise him and exalt him above all O snow and ice cattle and wild beasts Bless the Lord Lord of Lords, praise Him and exalt Him above all. Bless the Lord as befits Him and not like the disobedient. All you sons of men, praise Him and exalt Him above all. O Israel, offer before Him honor and glory in a joyful voice. O you priests of Emmanuel, praise him and exalt him above all. You servants of the true God, the soul of the righteousness and the humble and charitable, praise him and exalt him above all. God, my God, is the one who saved you from danger, O Sidrach, Misak, and Abdenago, praise him and exalt him above all. Hurry with great haste, O you righteous of the Lord, and all the creatures he has made us in. Hurry, O chat. Call this a report without ceasing, grant unto all of us that we may joyfully proclaim, praise Him and exalt Him above all. Also your poor servant Sarkis, 
make him without condemnation, that we may join all those and say, Praise Him and exalt Him above all. Amin al-lilu'a kiriya al-aysun Kiriya al-aysun, kiriya al-aysun Praise the Lord from the heavens, al-lilu'a praise Him in the night Praise Him, all His angels, al-lilu'a praise Him, all His hosts Praise Him, Sun and Moon, Alleluia, praise Him, all the stars of light. Praise Him, you heavens of heavens, Alleluia, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, Alleluia, for He commanded and they were created. He has ordered and they were created, Alleluia, has established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass away, Alleluia, pray the Lord from the earth. You great sea creatures and all the depths, Alleluia, fire and hail, snow and clouds and stormy wind, Paul failing his word. Mountains and all all hells, alleluia, through the trees and all cedars. Beasts and all cattle, alleluia, creeping things and flying birds. King of the earth and all people, alleluia, princes and all judges of the earth. Both young men and maidens, alleluia, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, Alleluia, for His name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven, Alleluia, and is exalted the horn of His people. The praise of all His saints, Alleluia, the children of Israel, people near unto Him. Alleluia, 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 sing the Lord a new song, Alleluia, and His praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their Maker, Alleluia, let the children of Zion be joyful in their King. Let them praise His name in the chorus, Alleluia, let them sing praises unto Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in His people, Alleluia, He will give them equal salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, Alleluia, let them sing aloud on their beds. Let thy praises of God be in the mouth, Alleluia, and to his sword in their hand. To execute vengeance on the nations, Alleluia, and punishments on the people. To bind their king with chains, Alleluia, and their novels with feathers of iron. To execute on them the written judgments, Alleluia, this honor have all his saints. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise God in all his saints. Alleluia. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Alleluia. Praise him for his mighty acts. Alleluia. Praise Him according to the multitudes of His greatness, Alleluia. Praise Him with the sun and harp, Alleluia. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, Alleluia. Praise Him with all 
psaltery and harp alleluia. Praise him with tremble and chorus alleluia. Praise him with strings and organs alleluia. Praise him with pleasing sounding cymbals alleluia. Praise him upon the cymbals of joy alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord our God, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Alleluia. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages, Amen, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Doxa Simon, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. I sought after you from the depth of my heart, my Lord Jesus, help me, loosen for me all the bonds of sin, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Be out to me so that you may save me, my Lord Jesus, help me. May your goodness come speedily to me, my Lord Jesus Christ, Help me. Overshadow me with the shadow of your wings, my Lord Jesus. Help me. In six days you have made all the creation, my Lord Jesus Christ. Help me. Seven times every day I will praise your name, my Lord Jesus, help me. All the creation glorifies your name, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Yours is the Lordship and the authority, my Lord Jesus, help me. Make haste, O oh my God, so that you may save me, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Every knee bows down for you, my Lord Jesus, help me. All the divers sung together, bless your name, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Turn away your face from all of my sins, my Lord Jesus, Help me, blot out, O oh God, all my iniquities, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. You know my thoughts and you search my death, my Lord Jesus, help me. Create in me a clean heart, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Your Holy Spirit do not take away from me, my Lord Jesus, help me. Incline your ears, make haste and hear. My Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Set be 
before me, Allah, in the way of your justice, my Lord Jesus, help me. Your kingdom, oh my God, is an eternal kingdom, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Multitude of my iniquities, my Lord Jesus, help. All all together, bless your name, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Have patience with my Lord Jesus, help me. Early in the morning I will rise and bless your name, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Your yoke is sweet and your burden is light, my Lord Jesus, Help me in the accepted time. Hear me, my Lord Jesus Christ. Help me. Oh, how beloved is your holy name, my Lord Jesus. Help me. Disperse away. My Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Your mercies, O oh my God, are countless, and exceedingly plenteous are your, your compassion. All that in drops are counted by of my soul manifest before you, oh, my Lord. The things I've committed, do not remember, my Lord, and do not count my iniquities. For you have chosen the public and the adulterous, you have saved, and the right hand thief, my Lord, you have remembered. And I to the sinner teach me, O my Lord, to offer repentance. For you do not desire the death of a sinner, but rather that he returns and that his soul may live. Restore us, O God, to your salvation. And deal with us according to your goodness. For you are good and merciful. Let your compassion speedily come to us. Have compassion upon us, O Lord God, Savior, and have mercy upon us according to your great mercy. Remember those, O Christ our Master, be among us and proclaim and say, My peace I give to you, the peace of my Father, I live with you. For the enemies of the church, for to be fired that she may not be shaken forever. Emmanuel, penoti, enten miti, tino, chenebo, ente, bebiot, nembia, 
now and ever and on the ages of the ages. Amen. We proclaim and say, O our Lord Jesus Christ, bless the waters of the river, may your mercy and peace be a fortress unto your people. Save us and have mercy on us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord bless us, amen. Bless me, bless me, Lord the repentance, forgive me and say the blessing. Amen, so be it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to wait for half a minute. I'm going to take your time. 